Greetings. Just here on a little side canal off the lower Deschutes River. We're cooling off here in the knee-deep mud and happen across a lovely little nature snack that you can help yourself to anytime you please. It's cattail. You go, cattail? Oh, you can't eat that. Sure you can. And, you know, a lot of people are going to say, go for the root. You can turn the root into a starch and you pound it out and da-da-da. Well, you know, that's a nice process and all. But if you're just on the trail on a hot day and you need a snack, there's not much better other than, you know, really bulrush. And it's super easy to, to gather. Super simple. You're just going to pull it up. And, yeah, that one's a little too, too close to the mud. There's some root. But you want to kind of try to find ones that are a little closer to the edge where you can actually get just the, the middle of it and that is exactly what you're looking for right there one little tip you might want to look and see if there are any sort of streaks or brown leaves any of those mean that there's a certain kind of like little larva that can get to it and they go as far down as they can and anything upstream of the where it goes in is probably not going to be too happy to eat but one of the things that you will want to do is strip off these outer longer leaves until you get down to just the the main core where it's not really leafy and just it's a little tricky to do with one hand a little easier two-handed um you might say oh that was down in the in the water that's gross you know it's muddy well no it's protected by this nice little mucus coating on the inner leaves so there's no swampy water there at all and the nice thing about this is it's edible just like this and you can eat it you know pretty much up to where it starts turning green yeah oh, no it's not bad it tastes very, very similar to cucumber. If you've ever, you know, had a fresh raw cucumber, that's what we're dealing with here. It's that kind of nice flavor. There, that's a little better. Oh, oh, that's where I'm going to take my next bite, mister. You can't just help yourself to that. Hey, that's mine. Oh, hmm. oh now it's on my finger. Okay. And you're just going to kind of munch it off until it gets to where it's sort of stringy. And the inner pith, it's, a, it's very, a mildly sweet. Could be a little bit bitter or peppery, depending on... Uh, your taste buds a little peppery on the on the finish too and that doesn't mean it's bad or sour or anything it's just the way it tastes and it's mm, really crisp it's cool and it's wet it's very refreshing stuff absolutely adore cattail and it's so unbelievably common that there's no way that anybody could possibly harvest too many or hurt mother nature by taking cattails um, they're considered a weed by a lot of uh, various land use people because they'll clog up streams like this and they don't always like that. Ooh, we are sinking right down into the mud. And it grows just in so much abundance. There's just, it's so plentiful. And native peoples used to use this in bulrush for centuries. And you could, you could take the root and go ahead and pound it out if you really wanted to. And there's no none really here. Oh, there, there they are. And the, uh, the hot dog part here, of course, is classically known as a, a good fire starter because it's very fluffy, you know. This, one, this one's a little not quite there, still greenish. Um, but once they turn dry, there's some better ones up there. You, of course, break that up and it's, you know, burns really, really, really well. Some people say it burns like gasoline, really amazing stuff. So it could be used for a fire starter if you really wanted to. But as you can see, it just it just goes on and on. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of them going all up and down this channel here. And it'd be nice if we could find some bulrush too. But uh, you could also dry, dry the nice long leaves out and weed them into a mat if you just wanted a fun little project. It's a fairly sturdy leaf, but it does snap. You, know, you might not want to twist it, but you know, a woven mat would be kind of cool. And uh, I think we better get out of this mud here and get dried off and get back on the trail. I want to thank you so much for joining us here on a side channel off the Lower Deschutes River to take a look at one of our favorite forages, cattail.